going on guys welcome back to another video we're gonna be doing some ice fishing today i actually have to shoot to the bait store real quick gotta grab either two or three dozen minnows we're gonna be meeting up with justin today uh, you'll see him in a little bit i haven't fished with him in a while so it's gonna feel nice we're gonna be fishing a northern illinois lake today the lake potential has a lot of big bass and a lot of pretty decent pike too so i'm pretty confident we can put together a pretty good video for you guys today um unfortunately we had to cancel maine because of a family emergency and meg's family we're gonna get back on track headed out today it is 12 right now we're gonna be fishing the afternoon i'll probably fish at the last five six hours of the day here today so i'm just gonna go to the bait store grab some shiners shoot to Justin's, pick him up, and uh, we'll go from there, but I'll bring you guys along for that, so let's roll. I'd say my overall confident level is pretty high today. I'm feeling pretty good. I spent till about 3.30 last night in the morning getting all my tip-ups retied, respooled, new leader knots, new new hooks, literally everything you can imagine. It just got so frayed over that um, Minocqua trip and just so frozen over. Everything was just shot in there, so I just took it all off, respooled it all. They're looking crispy. I'm feeling good about it. That's literally one of the best feelings in ice fishing is when you get all your stuff either detangled or new leaders new line just something just it just feels really good when going into a day of where you want to have no problems kind of just go out there set tip ups knowing that you're not going to lose a fish over because you didn't take that time beforehand to check your knots or check that hook knot or whatever it may be you guys get it i mean me and justin got a huge trip coming up that is uh the season two of west palm beach that is gonna be february 15th all right let's go to the bait store oh idiot Good luck. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Keep having fun. See you soon. Yeah. This bait store, by the way, Dave's Bait and Tackle. Awesome guy. Knows his shit. If you guys are in the Crystal Lake area fishing around this, um, there's not too many bait stores actually around here, believe it or not. All right, I got to drive to the spot. We are... 16 minutes away and i wanted to try something different today too last i don't know if it was the last winter yeah last winter i started using red trebles i used a number six size and then a number four the number fours are a little bit bigger but the number six honestly are just really nice and i think using that red hook on the shiner kind of show like a, that that fish might be to see blood but i've had a lot of good fish caught on red hooks and i think that could be like a really good ticket today so out of my six tip ups today i have three red hooks and then three of my normal ones i normally use that's pretty much it though let's see if we can slap some fish i'm looking forward to it looking forward to fishing with justin as always comes to a scene where i'm blowing my eyes out just blasting singing the song <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Are you ready? All right, guys, setting the first flag right now. I'm gonna have to go grab the Helix. Check my depth quick. Justin's gonna put an auto right here. So with these automatic fishermen, rod tip goes down on this, I gotta adjust it though. Then when a fish hits, it'll pull this thing down and the rod will snap, set the hook for you. They're pretty cool contraptions and it's good for people that like to use rods more, so. All right, so kind of like you saw in my previous videos, I went to kind of check where my sinker and my shiner's at. I've also never fished here before. This is Justin's spot, so I really have no idea what I'm working with here. So five feet, and I think I have it set pretty good. So guys, here's that red treble. This is a six size. I'm gonna put it right in front of the back dorsal. I have a sinker up about a foot and a half, 18 inches. And then the final step, put your helix or your flasher. Dude, we got 1,875 feet here. I think we're good. Is it still on? No. Took my God damn it. Well guys, first hit. Jaw jacker went off, it bent the rod down a few times. And right when I got over to it, of course, like fishing usually goes, fish was gone, and my shiner's gone. It's only 2.13, guys. 
is pretty early. Uh, we wanted to fish the afternoon, like the last like three hours of light. And I did not think we were gonna get a bite that soon because we are fishing kind of shallow, like five to six feet. And we're gonna go actually right to the Sony from here. All right guys, so I wanted to come to the camera for this one because it's easier to talk and you can actually see me. So we were fishing about six feet of water. Justin just had that one flag go up. I thought it was actually gonna take a lot longer to get a bite because we just popped however many holes. And when you're fishing super clear ice, that shallow water, obviously you're gonna scatter some fish no matter what. So I thought it wasn't gonna actually, or we weren't gonna get our first bite about like an hour or two from here. It's two o'clock right now. Uh, I think the three o'clock to like the 530 window is gonna be the best. But as you can see, Justin just had that one auto go up. And unfortunately when he got over there, as he explained, it popped off. So very good sign already that we already got a hit. I wouldn't be too concerned about the auger uh, scattering fish if it wasn't such clear ice. There's no snow on top of here. It's like slick as shit, but so far so good. Just anything to add? Just reset the, uh, the automatic. I didn't put the rod on the thing this time though. I'm just gonna let it hang there and see if it comes back and takes it real quick. So hope for the best. There you go, bud. I'd love to grab the camera, but I was just saying to Justin, me and him were talking about where the hell the fish are, and we think this next hour, hour and a half is going to be pretty good. I just heard a flag. Oh yeah, there's a pike. Not a big one. There you go. Hell yeah. Nice pike. Good start. Didn't even hear the auto trip off. I just looked over and my rod was just kind of sitting like that, and then he started taking off. Nice fish right there. Yes! Alright guys, flag up. Is it spinning? I predict pike. Got him? Oh yeah, it's a pike. <laughs> I heard that flag pop. Need help landing? Oh. Is that a pike? Doesn't really feel like one. Oh my god. That's a solid one. All right, guys, my first fish of the day, and I like pike, I like bass, but this feels pretty good. This is probably two and a quarter, two and a half. Mm -hmm. Nice fish, so I'm gonna snap a quick picture of this one and get a nice release, and then for the next one, we'll start grabbing the camera too. This honestly just started happening, so. Pike pop. Nice fish. All right, let's grab a pick. Alright guys, another flag up, and this thing is ripping. Oh my god. Oh dude, he's gonna spool me. Here, hurry. We got a pike, we got a pike. I gotta go right away. Oh god. What? This one's got some weight. This one's got some true weight. Oh. All right, guys, this is my second fish, and this thing was absolutely ripping. It's got some nice weight, but I feel like I'm just like dragging it right in right now. It's on there, though. He already gave up all of his energy. <laughs> you see how fast it was spinning at one yeah. point? It's like the wheels on a tire, and the, like when you look at a car on the highway. <laughs> trying to see if I can see him underneath the ice. He's over that way. Like far over there. Dude, he's probably close to your auto. Yeah, he was hauling. Is, uh. Oh, see what the hell was that? You see it? No, he just took off, took off in a different direction. It's a nice pike, dude. <gasps> let him run, let him run, let him run. Here, switch, switch spots with me. Get me in the sun and duck down. This one's fighting super nice. Oh, yeah. Well, these pike want to run. You got to let them run. This is actually, oh, no, I got one up north. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. It's a really nice one. Look at that. Nice pike. Um, I would say this one's probably 28, 29, just would you say? Yeah, probably. It's pretty close, nice. but that's a nice pike. This is my first pike of the day, my second fish overall. And I said, me and Justin were talking about it, this last hour of light, two hours, is probably going to be pretty good. So, oh, you got me. He got you? Yeah, he got me good. Right in my thumb. 
All right, you gotta protect these fish. So it took me a little bit to get the hook out. It was all the way down there and I didn't want to rip his gills. So I'm gonna just hold them here right here in the water. It's not too cold out too. So I don't think their eyes are gonna be really freezing. But one last look at the fish. Beautiful. Illinois Northern Pike. All right, we're gonna snap a picture of this one and then hopefully we can get some more flags. All right guys, my second fish. Super nice pike, probably say 28 to 30, that range. Um, I could have measured it, but I didn't want to spend any more time with that fish out of the water. Wanted to pop that hook, get it out. That felt pretty good. It took some huge runs and right when it hit, it was seriously what... <laughs> oh, Justin's on. As I'm doing this. I look back and the rod's just not on the thing and it's just slowly bending. Another pike. The pike are on. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I think I got a grouper. Hey! Hi, Justin, how do you feel? Your second? Yep, awesome. Nice pike, they're going off. On the automatic fisherman. It's a fun little contraption for these pike. Whoop. <laughs> He soaked me. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Justin. Um, we got a total of three pikes now. Two small ones. I keep really feel like I'm hearing drag ripping, but that was me actually. Oh. <laughs> so we have two pike, two small ones. One that was pretty decent, at 20 to 30, but that honestly, that one that I caught on that tip up literally just took so much line out. It had to honestly. So that flag was way over there. And it probably was honestly by our chairs over here. Like it took a lot of line out. I'm gonna go uh, get a new mid on there, reset it. And again, this last hour so far so good. So three total pike, one nice bass. I can't complain, we're out here, we're having fun. Me and Justin haven't fished literally in forever together and we're finally back. West Palm Beach coming soon. All right guys, <laughs> as you can see, spinning pretty good. Another flag up. I'm gonna go ahead and check this one. Pull some line out. Got I him. think. I feel big head shakes. I think it's a bass. Big bass. It's off. It's off. No. Yep. See, we've been having that problem with the bass lately, man. I also let that bass take it a while too, so I don't know that how it's been a, it. That could have been a six or seven pounder. It wasn't like a giant, but on those head shakes, I couldn't really do anything else. All right, guys, no fish. I'm gonna have Justin kill the camera. I'm gonna reset this one, and then we'll come back to you if this goes up again or any of the others. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, it's 5.30, completely dark out. That last bite that I just had, which you guys saw, um, I felt a lot of head shakes. I think it was a bass, just a lot of head shakes. And if I knew if I would've let go, or no matter what I did there, I just thought I was gonna lose it. So, got that one really nice pike. We caught some other pike. Justin had, what you guys saw in the video, three landed on video. Uh, we caught some other ones, but like we're talking like snake pike, like, yeah, like nothing. So we just left them out just because it wasn't really like, we didn't we didn't really get like the full fight either. Cause I mean, I was running back to get pliers running over. So half the footage is just not gonna be used. So pretty decent day, had fun out there. Nice to get back out with Justine. As he said earlier in the video, we go to Florida in about a month, but we're gonna be grinding pretty good. I'd say for ice fishing these next few weeks um, to keep you guys the content going for while we're gone. Any last parting thoughts? We got some good stuff coming. It's gonna be a good ice season. We got Lakers, catfish, more pike, some other maybe mystery species that you don't really see too often through the ice. Should be good, leading up to Florida. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, guys. Remember, I also have merch available as well on followtheaction.com slash fishing. But if you guys cannot buy anything, liking this video means more to me than anything. So it keeps me going, keeps pumping out content. Just be sure to hit the subscribe button. I think we're gonna be going back to two videos a week finally, so. I might be switching up the days, so I won't say the days, but that's it. We out! Early mornings, late night cruising Up and down the crystal cove And through the uneasy stream Bass fishing, corona drinking We're just out here catching the American dream Lay back, relax McGrath fishing is all you need